In this video, I'm going to be making some kitchen knives, and since I'm not much of a metal worker, I'm going to be using some razor blades to make them, which is kind of nice because then you never have to sharpen the blade, you can just replace the blade. So I started off by printing out a bunch of templates on a bunch of different colors of cardstock, and by the way, if you want to make these nice yourself, you can get these templates on my website. Next, I got this piece of 3x1 maple that I'm going to rip down at 8 degrees. I ended up being able to get three of these eight degree strips out of this piece of maple and once I had those all ripped down I brought them over to the miter saw and cut them into roughly nine inch sections. Uh, I didn't even bother setting up a stop block for these cuts just because they didn't need to be exact. I'll cut these to be exact once I have the template glued on. So now I have my maple blanks, some cardstock templates, and by the way you can get cardstock in a bunch of different colors at basically any craft store for very cheap. And then also I have these 18mm uh, snap blades, which you can get at any hardware store for very cheap. I got a pack of 50 for like 8 bucks, and those are going to be the blades of the knife. So I'm just going to cut out these templates using uh, one of the razor blades and on one half of the template I'm actually going to trace out the razor blade and then uh, cut out a pocket for the razor blade to fit in when the knife is fully assembled. And then I'm just going to glue the templates onto the maple blanks. And once the glue dries, I'm going to cut out all these templates. Next, I'm just going to glue the two halves of each of these kitchen knives together, and I'm going to use CA glue for that, and I'm going to use a lot of it. I want to really make sure that the paper soaks in all this CA glue and hardens to somewhat waterproof these knives so that when they eventually do get wet, the paper doesn't just get all mushy. Also, even though I'm using a lot of glue, I still have to be very careful that I don't get any of that glue into that pocket that I cut for the razor blade, because otherwise the blade will not fit. Once the glue sets, I'm just going to sand the two halves even at the spindle sander. And lastly, before I put the blade in, uh, I'm just going to do some final shaping. And I'm actually going to use one of those razor blades, kind of like a card scraper, to taper the edge where the blade and the wood knife meet. So that way, when you're cutting down, it's an easy transition from the blade to the wood, and whatever you're cutting doesn't get caught. And here you can see one side done, that top side, and now I just got to do the other side. I also did some final sanding and rounded over the edges a little bit. Now I can finally fit the blade into the knife, and the blade fits very well into that pocket that I cut into the template earlier. And the paper that the template was printed on is just a little bit thinner than the blade itself, so it holds the blade very firmly. Um, but it still allows you to take the blade out if you need to replace it.
Kind of as an afterthought, I decided to make a stand for these knives, uh, just something to hold them for the thumbnail. So I didn't really have a plan for any of this, and I just made it up as I went along. I don't really remember any of the measurements for it, and I was out of maple, so I actually made it out of aspen instead, but I still think it turned out pretty well. Also, like with the knife, I'm again using a lot of CA glue to glue in this paper to harden it up and hopefully keep any bacteria from getting in there. And lastly, I just needed to trim down the paper, sand everything, and oil it. And here is the final product. You can see how the knives fit into the knife stand. The blades just slip into the fold of the paper. And these knives work great. They cut just about any food very easily. I'm going to test these out on some tomatoes in just a second. And uh, if they ever get dull, I can easily just replace the blades. I love the design and just about everything about this. But if I were to ever do this again, I probably wouldn't choose the same colors I did for this. I went with these bright neon colors for these knives just because they kind of showed up well on camera, but I don't know if I really love that. So I would, if I were to do this again, I'd probably try out some different colors.